Hi everyone, this is Clara with Card Stampin' with Clara, coming to you from the Tar Heel State tonight. Um, happy to be a little bit ahead of schedule for a change. Uh, I appreciate you stopping in and, and checking out the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're going to be making this card right here tonight, which is um, from the Woven Threads set. It's prayers and heartfelt sympathy are you <clears throat> are with you and your family. And then on the inside, I have uh, the Bible verse: "Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand." Isaiah. Um, 4110. So that's going to be the card we're going to make tonight. It's very simple, but I'm going to show you some alternatives to this simple card too. Um, if you would please, before we start looking at all these cards and, and the set, push that subscribe button. And um, I have meant to mention it for a couple of weeks. I have a new feature on my website, which is Clara's Way Down. If anybody is interested in uh, getting on what I call the turtle way down, which means it's very, very slow, but uh, I would uh, be glad to have you come along. It's not a diet plan. It's just a place to be encouraged um, or for each of us to encourage one another. Okay, enough about that. Uh, this is the set that we're going to be using tonight. It's the Woven Heirlooms stamp set. This says, thinking of you, the verse of the, the sentiment that I just read on the front of the, the card, prayers and heartfelt sympathy are with you and your family. I love you. Thank you so much. And wishing you a day of love and joy. And then there's some cute little swirly things. And there's a, a couple of strips in it that leaves a very unusual uh, design, and I thought, what will I ever do with that? But I'll show you what I did with one of them. So um, it's a nice uh, rubber stamp set, and I've got one of the stamps out that I'm going to show you something in a minute. But um, I'm going to be using that, and you can purchase the stamp set and these uh, dies and two embossing folders that come with it uh, that coordinates with this set. And I'm going to take out the, there's just two dies. There is a rectangle one and a, an oval one. And we're going to be using the oval one tonight. And um, I used this one on some of the other cards, as you'll be able to see. So... That's the, die, that's the only die we're going to be using tonight. And these embossing folders make such a pretty design. I don't know, I'll hold it up a little closer. I don't know if you can see it on this or not, but you will be able to on the card. So we're going to use this one. And the other, the, the rectangle one also has a pretty design in it. And that sentiment that I used on the inside of that card because it was a sympathy card i actually picked it up out of a retired set and uh so you might need to put something different in your card because this this set as nice as it is it didn't really have um a sentiment that you could put on the inside unless you maybe use the one i've used on the front and put something else on the inside so it's just up to you but um I just wanted to give you an idea before we got started and be up front with you as to where that came from. Okay, this is a card that I made. And bear in mind, um, I have used a lot of the um, paper tonight. It's called the Woven Threads DSP. The one that we're going to make tonight as well as this one is part of that pretty package. Um, I used the um, Pretty Peacock color for this flower. Of course, I brought this flower in from another set, and you could put any kind of flower on there. As you'll see, I put more than one kind. 
And uh, then I put the same thing on the inside of these that had that sentiment on the outside. So this is one that is done in the Gorgeous Grape. And then the, the paper is from the Woven Threads DSP. And this is the color Pretty Peacock. So that's, um, that's the first card. This one, I used the Rocco Rose. And it came... Um, it's one of the new 2019-2020 colors. So we use several of those tonight, too. Um, and uh, I just put the sentiment on this one out of that set. Uh, and also some little rhinestones. These are the Pretty Peacock uh, collection of rhinestones, I believe it's called. And then I put on the inside, you share so much, so gladly, so often, I'm blessed to have you in my life. And this was um, one of the special uh, celebrations sentiments. So I use some of those in these too. Oh, these, these cute little things that I put on the inside of all of the cards, I put them in different colors, but uh, that came from this same stamp set uh, that we're using tonight. So. This one's Rocco Rose, like I said, and the paper, and I stamped it in Rocco Rose and what have you. All right. Here's one that um, I used the Real Red for. Went back to the uh, Touch of Lace die and put that underneath. Kind of reminded me of the season that's coming with Christmas and what have you. Wishing you a day of love and joy. This... Um, Real red stamp this this flowers all the same flower now. It's just in different colors It's from the healing hug set Which is one of my very favorite sets. I just love this flower and you do have to fussy cut out the leaves and the flower But it's well worth it. I think it's one set that I so wish they had dyes with but they don't and it's just it's just beautiful the way that the the stamp uh, stamps the different colors. So I, I really like that. And as you can see, I use the rectangle um, frame on the outside of this one. And then I put another one of those sentiments and hugs and happiness and hope from my heart straight to yours on the inside of this one. And it too is from that special collection set. So I tried to use a lot of the same sort of things. The leaves on that one are shaded spruce. Okay, this one is um, using the, the uh, there's a, a pack of colors of the 2019, 2021. It's the six inch by six inch pack. That's where this paper came from. And um, I did something different with this. I embossed this sentiment this time on vellum. And then I put vellum underneath the, um, oval die and to bring out the uh, copper color of uh, embossing powder I picked up a little bit of um, copper foil that I had put a couple little sprigs here on it tied a little bow and put a butterfly on it and then on the inside I've got the cinnamon again fear not so uh, I like the way that turned out with the vellum, and that's a whole different approach. Maybe we'll do some things with vellum, and I'll show you how I did those. It's pretty much the same way you do other things, but still. This one is Thank You So Much. That's one of the sentiments out of this set. And I stamped some. I put some gold foil on this one. I used the Stitch Nested Dies. And this one is done in the terracotta uh, tile color. Uh, this is also from that 2019, 2021 six by six inch pack. So it just blends really nice. You got four, four different designs, I think, in that pack. And then I put not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. And uh, there again, I've got the little... Uh, accent down at the bottom this one is also done in um, vellum with the same copper 
uh, embossing powder. This is the Highland, no, excuse me, this is the Posey uh, Purple um, um, Oval, is what I'm trying to say. This is some of that pretty paper again from the Woven Threads. Uh, I put some gorgeous grape in behind it. I had a little punch here, and I just punched out three little flowers and some greenery. And um, I put uh, three little gems um, out of the gorgeous grape to give it a little bling and brighten it up and what have you. Then on the inside, I've got so grateful for someone like you in my life, and that comes from another set that we have at Stampin' Up. Okay, here's the last one where I got creative. Let's put it that way. Um, that stamp, the long stamp in the set, I took it and put it in my uh, stamp apparatus and alternated colors as I moved it down. And um, as you can see, they're lined up evenly. Then I took that rectangle die and cut me a frame from that piece of, um, we'll call it Claire's DSP tonight because I had, I had made it from, from that stamp. Then I needed something in the middle. So I thought, okay, what can I put in the middle this time? And I decided I'd put a Christmas bulb since these were Christmas colors. And uh, I fixed a little piece of holly. And um, this set has got Merry Christmas in it. So I stamped a Merry Christmas and made a little banner for the sentiment. And these are the little Christmas gems um, from the... Um, Cardinal, let me see, it's the, I thought I had all the names out here, the Christmas Cardinal. Uh, the Christmas Cardinal uh, set has got red and green uh, little gems little uh, like this, and so, so that's where they came from. And then on the inside, I went back to my old faithful sentiment from uh, Merry Christmas to All, a uh, poly photo polymer set, and put my my little accent down at the bottom. Okay, folks, that's a mouthful. But I wanted you to know what I did with it. And uh, we went from sympathy cards to Christmas cards here tonight. All right. A couple of things I want to show you before we start putting this card together. And, um, you know, usually I don't, I don't bother uh, showing you how to do the stamping because I, I feel like everybody... Uh, you know, can put a stamp on and, and put some ink on it and stamp it. So there is a couple of things, though, that I want to show you as to how I prepared this um, oval. I think a week or so ago, when I used this oval in another set, I was showing you that you had to be careful to fit this in and, you know, make sure you have it turned exactly right. Well, I have found a way that is way easier than that and to get it perfect every time. So this is this is what I want to show you tonight. Um, what, what I'm going to do is I'm fixing a piece to go in behind the oval. So I took, the first thing I did is I took the die and I laid it down on my piece of Whisper White cardstock. And as you can see, I traced around it, okay? Then the next thing I did is I just kind of left it laying there and I put my stamp um, down. It has to, I had my paper over a little further, I think, to make it come out right. Yeah, okay. This may not be exactly because uh, I moved the paper, but what I did was I made sure that this stamp would fit into the center of this oval. And the best way to do it was just to outline the oval. Now, you know, you'd like to say, I wish I could just cut the oval out and be done with it. But you can't do that if you're going to have the extra room to um, put in behind your um, frame once you get it made. So you can't use this just to cut it out because obviously then you've got a, coal, a hole in it and you're back to square one. So I wanted to show you that. 
And I'm gonna lay this back over now. You can see how I went about that. And I'm gonna get the pieces down here that I'm gonna be using. And then we'll be using, I'm gonna show you how to use this in a minute too. Okay, what I did, and I've got a, a magnet in my hand like it was my company or something. All right, then what I did is I cut just inside this all the way around. So I'm not gonna do all of that, but but you may need to come in a little further. Um, and the reason that you may need to come in a little further is you may need to slip your um, sentiment a little bit to get it straight. Let's see, I've got one prepared. I guess I'll go ahead and cut that one out and show you how I put that together. But I've got one prepared all ready to go on the card. So let's do this. I'm sorry. I'll just go ahead and cut this out. And like I said, I think I'm probably going to need to cut in a little bit further. And look, this doesn't have to be, this does not have to be real straight as you go around. It's, you know, you don't have to have the exact border just as long as you're not coming out into this area. And, you know, that's a long way across there to that. But if you look on the back of this one, see, this is not perfect. And there's a reason for that because I slipped it and turned that sentiment on the inside. So, okay, let's say I'm going to show you with the white one here in a minute. But I've got a blue one over here, too, that you can see. All right, see, what we're going to do is lay this on top of this. Okay, we've got some sticking out. So we're going to cut some more of that off. And the only way you know exactly how much to cut is just do it by trial and error. So I'm going to cut some more off. And maybe this was the way I should have done it to start with, but I didn't know to. So when it occurred to me that I could do this, I thought, hey, that'll work way better because you're not trying to fit that little centerpiece in perfectly. Okay, that's what that's kind of whoppy job, we're gonna say. All right, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn that. That's what I just did, is I turned this piece underneath until it fits and is straight. I hope you can see that. It, it is straight. So what I did, and I'm not, this is, this is one that I'm going to uh, chuck in the trash can because it's not exactly evenly cut. And that's the reason, I mean, I'm not using this. This is just a trial thing. But what you do then is you put some glue on the back of this. And then what, just be careful when you're putting the, this oval onto your sentiment and you take your thumb and your finger and you can move it like that until you get it straight just don't seal it down real tight and then once it's straight you know you can just lay it down real easy keep everything straight and press it down so that's how you get the oval and then you don't have to worry about there being any edges because it's there's no edges to match and it works so much better the other thing I wanted to show you, and then we'll put this simple little card together, is, is this part about the uh, using the embossing folder. Um, and this took some trial and error for me too because I had not seen anybody use it. And um, I could have found out, but I didn't. So I want to show you how this, how to do this, the, what I found to be the easiest way anyway. We'll put it that way. All right, now then, I'm gonna use a little bit of alcohol in this little spritzer bottle. And I'm gonna hold this with one hand and just kind of spritz it real, hopefully lightly, but I think I got a little heavy on one side. I don't think it'll hurt it though. Then you take the top side of it, and I found the easiest way is to fix this on the side that has the stamp on it, the stamping up. And then you take it, and you would think that this would be, you know, kind of uh, redundant to, to, to say this is the way to do it, but it did work better than, than any other way I've tried. 
and that one doesn't seem to be fitting quite the way I want it to. And like I said, there is such a tiny little difference. It's hard to, until you start to line it up, that you know from top to bottom they're just slightly different. And I mentioned that before. So what you're going to do is you slip this until you've got the same border all the way around it. And I found out that the center, the, the top edge, is the best way to do that. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not, but just get it lined up and you'll have a slight border around it, and then everything else will be balanced. So, you take this, and um, honestly, this is an old um, mouse pad. And um, I've got a pad around here, but this works good too. I lay it on top of uh, my cutting plate and run it through my die cutting machine. If I can get it to go. There we go. I hope I got it far enough. Okay. And that makes that pretty little design. But as far as I know, that's the easiest way to get it done. Um, so like I said, I was just showing this, showing you these steps um, which I think, you know, works better than, than other things I've tried. All right. Like I said, this is a simple little card, and it won't take us but a minute now to put it together once you get that much prepared. We start with a five and a half inch base card by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter, and this is Whisper White. Then we have two of the Seaside Spray color, and these are four inches by five and a quarter inches. One for the inside, one for the front. Then we have a piece of the woven threads that this is just so pretty, the color blue. Um, I really like that. And of course, you get different colors on the back, but I don't imagine this will ever get used at my house because I just love the blue so much. Um, it goes on the front, and then I have a piece of Whisper White that's three and three quarters by five inches that I'm going to put on the inside like that. And this piece that I prepared ahead of time just to avoid the sticky mess of putting everything together, I'm going to put on the front. Um, so basically you need another piece of, uh, the seaside spray big enough to cut out the oval and a piece of whisper white, uh, big enough to cut out a whole oval that, you know, you don't punch the center out of. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere this oval to this piece of woven threads DSP. This is your most basic card, and even though, I mean, this one is simple to make, and other than the sentiment that is on the inside of this card, and you can put any kind of sentiment that you have on the inside of the card, you just want to make sure that uh, it's appropriate and, you know, and coordinates with the front of your card. See if I can get this slipped up just a little bit. You don't have a lot of extra room, as you can see, but from one perspective, it makes it just a little bit easier about centering the side-to-side -side part anyway. All right. Still want it up a little bit further. Okay. 
All right, there we go now. All right. Let me get this little bit of glue off my fingers that I picked up on the back of the card. And then pat that down. If you do too much moving, sometimes it will slip. So see, that's not hard at all. And you've got a real pretty front, especially when you lay it against this really pretty solid piece of, of uh, seaside spray. These colors are really pretty. And as you saw, I took these, these basic colors that for the most part, I mean, I used the one piece of red that's one of the old standard colors, but I used a lot of these like the the Rocco Rose and the the Purple Posy and the Pretty Peacock. All these I used to, um, I'm going to have to reach over and get my other glue, I think. Um, used a, a lot in the same pack. And the reason I did that is you can, you can purchase a pack of cardstock that has all these colors in it. Now you can pack, you can, um, also purchase them where you know just to get one color if you really like one color and you don't want the others you can you can do that too but if you want some variety of color and you want to be able to match the new colors with some dsp then this is designed to match the woven threads dsp which is this is is uh, designed to match the colors in this pack of uh, cardstock called the 2019-2021 colors. All right, let me reach over here. I've got a, I have to kind of empty these blue things as I can, and they, um, I turn them upside down so I can get the glue out of them. So what I'm trying to say. All right, now then. We will put this on the outside of the card base on the front. Well, I know there's glue in this one. It just doesn't want to come out. All right. See if I've got this reasonably straight. Try my best anyway. Sometimes I do things and later see that I overlooked something and you just have to go back and redo it or, you know, sometimes if it's bad enough, you have to chunk the whole process, but hopefully, I'm not going to this time. All right, let's do the inside real quick. I could have gone ahead and glued this, but I didn't today. Whoops. When you have one of these sets, the, the one thing that I'm gonna be very honest with you that I wish Stampin' It Up would do, would have, I wish they had better, um, sentiments or more sentiments maybe i should say the ones they've got are all right but for the inside of the card it's just sometimes you feel like you need another sentiment and it's not available in that set and that's why i went out of this one you can certainly as um, you saw me do in some of the cards, like this Christmas card that I put a bulb in the middle, you could put other things in the middle of the card and make it an entirely different card, just use a different sentiment on the inside. But these little frames are so pretty. Uh, I'm sure you can see the uh, pretty designs in there that uh, you can, and, and as you saw, I didn't, I didn't put designs in all of them. I only put designs in part of them and you can see them both ways that way. Um, it's just a matter of what you need. So I'm going to, here we go. But you can always use things that you have 
you know, you can coordinate it with another set. It's not like you have to make everything from one set, you know, uh, pulling from the other things you have makes, makes your uh, stash way more valuable and gives you the option of making things that you hadn't thought about maybe when you start laying them together. Okay, here, let's see what's going on there. I guess I haven't pushed it down yet. Okay, I believe that's all right. All right. So, um, I might mention that uh, this set is out of the yearly catalog. And it will be around for a little while yet. It'll be in next June before uh, they they will have the new catalog. I can say that much for sure. It might stay in the new catalog. It was new this year. Um, so sometimes, sometimes they make it into another catalog. Sometimes they don't. Uh, you never really know about that. But uh, but I really like this. I I had visions of putting little. Um, little flower pots and things in the center of these, you know, like you would hang a, a flower, a pretty flower on the wall or what have you and give it that effect. But, um, I mean, it's just up to you. Like I said, you, by all means, you need to use the things that you've got on hand uh, along with some of these sets. And uh, it just gives you good variety. Okay, it didn't take too long. I hope you... Um, have a good evening. Um, one thing I will mention, uh, not to uh, focus on my health too much, but uh, I do have some issues in my back after I got the results from the MRI. Uh, my family doctor said, you got a mess in there, is the way he put it. Not surprising, but not what I wanted to hear either. So, um, not sure yet what direction I'm going to go in or what I can do yet. I've still got to see the doctor again. But um, for right now, I'm holding my own and I'm still making cards, which I can do by sitting down, which is, you know, what I like to do anyway. So, that's not such a bad thing. But I'll keep you posted, uh, like I said, so you'll know um, if something comes up along the way and I miss a um, video, you'll know what's going on. So I wanted to mention that for that reason. Um, again, if you would, press that subscribe button if you haven't. And always remember to use the host code here. And um, I hope you have a productive week. Uh, take care. Have a nice weekend and... Uh, the good Lord bless you and keep you, and I will see you again, the good Lord willing, in a week. So, uh, bye for now, and thanks a lot.